It's easy to take sound for granted until you lose it due to a serious hearing disorder. Thankfully, this tiny hearing aid brings back the music. Loss of hearing causes a serious handicap, but happily it can be remedied thanks to hearing aids. But before fabricating the aid, the degree of hearing loss must be precisely measured with this apparatus called an audiometer. So they make a mold of the ear canal. To protect the eardrum, an autoblock is inserted. Next step is to pour in a silicone impression making material. It solidifies and is then removed from the ear. This congealed mass, representing the ear canal, is then soaked in warm wax to obtain a positive imprint. Then the silicone container is filled. The silicone hardens in only 10 minutes. The hardened silicone block is removed, and the excess of the imprint is removed so that only the essential part is retained. The imprint must slip easily into the ear. It's now the molding stage for the hearing aid. Acrylic is poured into the mold before placing it into this ultraviolet oven. Without emitting any heat, this oven hardens the acrylic. Here is the raw prosthesis without its electronic components. This plan details the electric circuit of the amplifier. Holes are pierced for the volume control. These components are tiny. Here's the volume control, the miniature microphone that captures sounds, and the earphone which functions as a speaker. This tiny braided wire of seven conductors is soldered to the amplifier and the other parts of the prosthesis with pewter. The hybrid circuit is inserted into a silicone casing which assures it protection. Then the wires are soldered to the speaker. And they verify the proper functioning of the volume control. A hearing aid must be very discreet. That's why they cut the excess with a diamond disc. They also remove the roughness with fine sandpaper. The holes we see here are used to vent air from the earphone. This silicone tube is used to make the vent. Acrylic is poured onto the tube to form a tunnel. Ultraviolet light is used to harden the acrylic. Afterwards, the tube is removed. This hole is used to position the fastener, a small wire which allows for removing the hearing aid from the ear. Then the battery is installed. Only a few parts, such as the microphone, remain to be put in place. Then everything is delicately assembled into the interior of the prosthesis. The two parts of the hearing aid are then glued together. Ultraviolet hardens the glue. The plate used to position the prosthesis components is cut away with a drill. Then the hearing aid is manually polished to make it perfectly smooth and comfortable. The prosthesis is now completed. There remains one important step, verifying its electroacoustic characteristic. It's with this analyzer that they validate that the hearing aid conforms to the original prescription. These minute prostheses allow us to solve the main hearing problems. Microfabrication of a single unit requires a little more than two days of work.